Let me give you guys a saucy, saucy, saucy hot take. Yes, the Utah Jazz will sweep the Los Angeles Clippers. And people are probably sitting there like, no, that's not happening, Ciro. But, yo, I'm calling it right now. Let me hear your thoughts down below. What do you guys think of that? So, let's immediately get into today's video and talk about... First off, I want to say I'm actually experiencing a Wi-Fi outage. Like, I have power. I have everything. But for some reason, my terrible, terrible Midco, which is the Wi-Fi provider, in six weeks I will be changing to Google Fiber. Is just, I, I don't have Wi-Fi, so hopefully this will be uploaded soon. But either way, Kawhi Leonard at 21 points. Reggie Jackson continues to have a renaissance resurgence with 29 points and playoff p at 27 he was 8 for 18. it's really sad where reggie jackson is your second best score in the playoffs and paul george is your third i actually want to show you guys something reggie jackson want to hear his postseason stats for the postseason in eight games he's been averaging 15 points half a steal game three assists three rebounds 41 percent from 343.8 from the field in 28.4 minutes Huge boost. And DeMarcus Cousins. Hey, can we talk about how Cousins has been able to come in and kind of be productive? Like, he comes in. He was negative 2 for plus minus score. and But he was 3 for 7. He shot a 3. I kind of like Cousins more than, you could argue, Zubak. Zubak had plus 1. I, I felt like Cousins was kind of more productive in his 11 minutes than Zubak was in his 14. Then we had, you know, Rudy Gobert. He had 13 points and 20 rebounds. He kind of just has had a bounce back game. And he just told him, he's like, look, you guys think you can stop me? You think you can stop me? Nah. And that's the best part. That they actually thought they could stop Rudy Gobert. Donovan Mitchell, my roommate and I got in an argument. First off, Mike Conley will be able to shut down Kyrie Irving if they meet in the championship. But... Mike Collins is one of the best defensive point guards in the league. Donovan Mitchell's top 15. I argue top 5. 37 points tonight. My friends were acting like I was the idiot. But you know what? I feel like they were the idiots. I'm the only one with the belief. I believe we can fly. I believe they can fly. I'm trying to like re like parody this on the fly, but it's not working. This team has one of the best, if not the best, movement. Like, people don't understand. This team is so freaking good on so many levels. And it's because of their ability to basically just be able to adjust on the fly. I don't think there's anybody else in the NBA that has... First off, right now, they're not even at full force because they have one of their six-man playing with the starting unit. And they typically don't have that happen. So they're actually not playing in their normal game. This just shows how much depth they have. Look, they have Georges Niang who's stepping in phenomenally for our man Joe Ingles off the bench. I mean, this game wasn't great. He was 0 for 3, 0 for 4 from the field, 0 for 3 from the 3. And Derek Favors didn't have a great game. But Jordan Clarkson and Maione were also in there. Jordan Clarkson was really the only guy off the bench who was did anything. He had 24 points. Georges Niang, Derek Favors, and Maione all combined for zero points, one rebound, one assist, and two turnovers. So, you know, they're doing great out there. Royce O'Neal is awesome. I think people don't give Royce O'Neal enough credit because he really is that freaking phenomenal. So, again, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think of this series do you guys think Kawhi Leonard will be able to carry the team back into you know an, a way to win do I think it's possible yeah maybe maybe it's a big if but with that being said I want to hear those thoughts down below ladies and gentlemen I hope you guys did really enjoy this video because you know what honestly I did I thought it was good I thought they wish fun. But yeah. So I think it's gonna be a sweep if the Clippers can't get anything. But honestly, I think it's gonna be a five game series with the Jazz. And I think the Jazz at this point are gonna win the NBA championship. Full send, ladies ladies and gentlemen. 
But yes, that is it for me today, guys. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Let me hear your thoughts down below. Peace out.